Hey John, this is a very interesting feature here. Yes, uh, this is uh, what's called a, a truth window. So oh. traditionally homes of this nature, straw bale, cob houses, they uh, like to show off the fact that it's made of straw. Yeah. And given that we have a passive house which is completely airtight and um, obviously watertight, we put the window on the outside of the house, normally on their inside. And uh, so I've chosen to encase it with a wine barrel from a close friend who's since passed away who found the property that we're now on for me. So uh, this is my little memory of him, but also a way of seeing the straw walls behind the, uh, the panels and the uh, render. Is it what the cows eat? Yes, it's dry straw, there's no husks, there's no seeds, so there's no attraction for um, mice or anything like that. So it's dried and clean straw, not hay. Wow, and this is what it looks in flesh. Yes, that's, uh, that's a traditional small bale, uh, and the manufacturers of the panels place those, actually use large ones into a frame, and they're pressed down under pressure and then encased in the, in the timber, and then trimmed with a chainsaw and we end up with very clean, square, solid, structural panels that are freestanding. So there's no extra timber frame. The panels can be joined together and provide structural integrity. So the configuration can be quite flexible and wow. um, well, well, well above the uh, bu building code. It got a lot of strength, stronger than a lot of timber product. That's right, it's all natural, uh, recyclable. Hopefully we don't have to recycle it. Yeah, and low carbon footprint. Absolutely. Well, it's waste straw, so all the, all the good stuff's been taken off it and dried out. The panels and the straw came from Wagga Wagga. That's where Huff and Puff live. And yep. uh, so I had 56 panels arrive on a truck. Wow. And we unloaded those, laid them out on the concrete slab, screwed them together, put the roof on, and then filled in all the gaps, and here we are. So. The, the cows would freak out if they knew we were using their food to build their houses. <laughs> That's eh? right. When you build a house, is there any um, bushfire rating you need to achieve or any fire rating? Uh, well, we're in about 12.5 area, which is relatively low for, uh, for this country. The only additional building material we needed for, to meet that standard with the, the systems we have is actually the flywire screens. The straw is so tightly packed that you can virtually put a blowtorch onto the raw straw and it will just singe it. There's no oxygen, wow. there's no air inside, so it's so tightly packed that um, uh, it, there, there are examples in the US of straw houses that have survived where other houses Oh, have. so they just perform like those high density hardwood? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm, excellent. So it's, yeah. it's better than um, foam cladding? <laughs> just a tad, it won't melt. <laughs> The straw bale got excellent structural capacity and good fire rating. What about the insulation property? It's very, very good as straw can vary from location, moisture and pressure that you can put it together. But the estimate based on the si best, best science we have is that we've achieved a rating of close to R R6. Well, R6 is very impressive. A lot of people, they only get up to R5 on their roof insulation and they're bragging about it. And for now, We've got a straw bale wall with a built-in R6, which is roughly around 34 in Imperial unit. Wow, it's excellent performance. And soundproofing as well, obviously. Yes, we can have 30 knot winds outside and there's virtually no noise. It's uh, extremely quiet. You hear more of the roof than anything. <laughs> you may need to start doing like the cafes, put some white noise inside your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got dogs for that. <laughs>